Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS list properties. In the previous video tutorials, we have understood CSS list style type property. How we can use list style type property to create different types of ordered lists and unordered lists. Before we proceed and understand some more list properties, let me go to the notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the notepad here in the body section. I am going to create one unordered list. To create an unordered list, we use ul tag, opening ul, closing ul. To add a list item to unordered list, we use li tag, opening li, closing li. The content I am going to add is item, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that item is displayed preceded by the disk bullet symbol. If we want to add one more item, I am going to copy the li code, paste down, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that one more item is added to the unordered list. We know that we can change the bullet type by using the type attribute and say here circle file save go to browser and refresh it is displaying now circle what if we want to display our own image as a bullet how do we do that to display image as a bullet we use css list property known as list style image css list style image property is used to specify the image to be used as a bullet symbol value to the css list style image property is url function to that function we pass a image path as a parameter let's see the demonstration i go to the notepad here i'm going to use style attribute to use inline style i say list style image colon i use a url function semicolon to that in single quotations, we have to pass the image name or image path. I minimize the notepad, I minimize the word, I minimize the chrome. You can see I have already created a bullet image which is of 10 by 10 and it's a PNG format file. I go to the notepad, here I say bullet.png, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that now our customized image is getting displayed as a bullet, right? That is how you can use your own image as a bullet for the unordered list. You can display check marks, you can display arrow mark, just you need to create an appropriate image according to the requirement. That is how you add an image as a bullet. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. I hope you guys have understood how do you add an image as a bullet to the unordered list or list. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we get some more information on CSS list properties. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.